Welcome to Zero Hero, a short video blog from HBA and Compass aimed to make your Zero journey easier. Please note that all the slides today have been created from existing Zero training videos. Zero has rapidly changed in the past few years, so sometimes the pictures that are used are old screenshots or overseas versions. Where possible, each session is followed up by a live demonstration. If you have any queries regarding any contact delivered today, feel free to contact me via email victoria at hbaencompass.com.au or phone 0754447094. Welcome to adding defaults to contacts including zero network keys. Adding defaults to contacts is really handy. So in the actual contact information for each individual contact, you can put information in there that makes it easier when you go to do a transaction for them. So you can see that this client here, Trucks and Property Management, um, we can go down, we can put an account number in here if we want to. So if, that, if we have a account with them that they want their account number listed on all transactions or something like that, you can put it in there to remind you what it is. We can set default account, the actual income account, and that the team here comes to do with the tracking options that you can send it to, to automatically default to, to a certain team member. We can set a default account for purchases. The, the tax ID number isn't so relevant for Australia, but we can actually put their ABN number in there. We can set it there um, if they automatically get a sales discount. So you may have set prices for items that you sell out of your inventory, but if you want to say that, that Mr. Trucks automatically gets a 5% discount because he's our biggest customer, you can have it sitting there so it will automatically apply the discount without having to manually do it. The currency, uh, for most of it will be Australian, and then you can actually put their bank account details in there if you're going to use the, the ABA file for batch payment of, of invoices. You can also set um, default payments from the actual invoice settings, but that is over all of your customers. This little thing, the last thing here is a zero network key. So if you have clients that are on zero, you can actually use a network key there for them. When you create an invoice for someone, it will automatically push it through to them. So perhaps a prime example might be that, that we do an invoice for accounting fees and we can automatically push that through to your accounts payable. Now it's probably not so relevant with accounting fees because we'd like to have a chat about things and stuff before we hit you with an invoice, but if you were selling golf balls, then automatically send it through because as soon as you've ordered the golf balls, then there's an invoice there for it. So we might go into our customers, Bayside Club, edit. This is where we go in and we can put a, a primary contact. We put all their postal addresses and, and phone numbers and stuff like that. But we can say here that our purchases are always tax inclusive and they generally go to purchases. Our sales are tax inclusive. And they generally go to sales and if there's a region that they live in, if they happen to be on the north side, we can automatically do it from there. We can set our 5% discount. We can say that it is due 14 days after the bills date, 14 days for, for sales invoices as well. And that's where you put the, the network key in there if you need it. And we save that so we can set the default accounts, so we're having to type it in, we can set their automatic discount and we can set the automatic days that their invoices are set. Um, and then again also their bank details if you're going to, to EFT them. My name's Victoria Berry, I'm one of the directors of, of HBA and Compass, so if you need to contact me, my email address is victoria at hbaencompass.com.au or of course our phone number is 0754 Thanks for listening.